Hello everyone, Freedy here, here and welcome to today's Destiny 2 build. Today we have a build that will make you feel like the God of Thunder with your trusty lightning, blue flame and hammer, and can the AoE damage it can pull off against many, many enemies you face. This build, just like my other sets, is perfect for the PvE environment, as one hammer from our end is enough to wipe out groups of red to yellow tier adds, and we can rinse and repeat this over and over and over again as long as we pick up our hammer afterwards, and as long as we're basically supercharged. This build will come in handy when playing in the Season of Dawn, when up against the new Sundial PvE event, as you will be facing waves of enemies coming at you, but at the same time, other content like the Menagerie or Gambit also have a special place for you, so you're never limited to where and when you have to play this set. So first things first is this subclass, which will be the Killer of the Devastator. This subclass is the only one where you'll be able to throw your hammer as a melee ability, but also has some great passive abilities that reward your use of hammer all round. For example, Tireless Warrior now grants health regen the moment you hit your target, and then pick the hammer back up, which is great if your Doom Archers don't activate in time. Then we have Warren Flames which increases our ability damage upon kills, and stacks up to 3, which is more or less going to be active for 90% of the times. Think of this one as the neutral player of the game type ability, that's always going to be active no matter what you do. So when you look into the subclasses, you can pretty much use your hammers all the time as everything is already in place for you. All you gotta do now is just use it. For your grenades, I also recommend that you either use fusion grenades so that you can weaken your target and then use your hammer to finish, or use your thermite grenades for long lasting effects that they provide. And then your jump for example doesn't really need to change, it's freely whatever you like to go with, so don't really stress yourself with this one ability here. Now for the weapons, you can play around with this area and dabble in extending your abilities longer, or choose something that synchronizes well with your company made build. For example, you can use the Monte Carlo in your setup which will provide melee energy upon weapon kills, and also has a chance to reward a full melee ability at times. This is recommended for a more run and gun role where you want to throw endless amount of arc fuse through the hammers to your heart's content, and it's generally fun to use when you up against large groups of enemies and you don't really want to stop and slow down. Your second option though is that you can use the Thunderlord machine gun instead, and then pick and choose your primary plus secondary, which is what I chose to go with. It fits the Thunder God set quite well when up against a group of enemies, and does have a large AoE blast that can chain to others as well, for even more chaos to the field. However, every now and then I would switch it up for something else depending on the type of enemy or boss I may face, so you can freely pick and choose how you want to go about this as well. Now, next we have the stats and armor, with the stats being all fairly balanced out, except for my grenades and melee. Now, for the melee, it is at a 45 second cooldown when that 79 stat, and I know I could push it a bit further, that, but I've decided just to end it there for now. I only push it this far for melee as I will be using 1 2 punch shotgun to use on my targets, where I can activate it and then receive a melee damage buff from simply throwing my hammer to a target for a short duration. This means now not only will my hammer produce an arc damage when it hits this target, but also if I use my shotgun to trigger a 1 2 punch, I can increase my hammer's damage even further, like shown. And this pretty much emphasizes on wholly using your hammer for everything you do, even though the melee stat is quite high. Now, generally, it's only like that in case I can't get my hammer back from tough spots, which you will encounter a lot. So if you wish, you can reduce it down to around day 50 to 60 stat, and then bump up your intelligence stat or recovery or resilience stat instead. It's definitely down to you to actually play around with this and see which is much more better for you to go ahead and play with. For the armor, you will need to do it if you wish to turn your flaming hammers into a lightning imbued flaming hammer. But if you don't have it, then you can still make the build work, but just not as well and effective as currently shown. Except from that, all you need to do is just match my stats as best as possible and try out the following mods. Head, Strength and Scatter Projectile mod. Arm, Recovery, Fastball and Monumentum Transfer mod. Chest, Recovery and Shotgun Reserves mod. Leg, Strength and Shotgun Scavenger mod. Sight and Mark, Distribution mod times 2 Now that everything has been put together, we can generally go ahead and test the build out and see where we can go with it, and from the end results, I'm pretty happy with it. You can go ahead and build up momentum with your Doom Marchers, and then when you're ready, just throw your hammer at the target, and watch as them and the many other targets around them disappear in a wave of arc energy. You can keep doing this over and over and over and over and just as many times as you wish, as long as you pick up your hammer after every use. 
And if you don't, then remember your high strength stat will allow you to regenerate it back in 45 seconds time. Now, like I said before, this build is best suited for PvE and PvE mainly, such as strikes, story missions, public events, or probably the best one, Menagerie and Gambit, since they have smaller zones of enemies that are cramped up, which makes it a lot more easier for your hammer to do more damage, and allow you to use your one to punch more if need be. For PvP, it can work exceptionally well if you're facing a group of players that bunch up a lot, as you can net yourself a large amount of kills if pulled off right, or you can use it to weaken others and then allow your teammates to move in for an easier kill. Now, here's a problem with doing this. When you throw your hammer at a full health player, and then trigger the arc ability as well, it still won't be enough to finish them as they will have around 30% health left over, give or take, which is easy to finish with your weapons, but might not be what you're looking for. That, and also the fact that you've got to land your hammer first, which is, well, good luck if you're trying to do that against a very mobile player, but we can still make it work. All you need to do is make sure that you use your grenades first to weaken them, and then use your hammer afterwards to net the kill, and also trigger the arc ability, and thus you'll be able to work effectively with it in PvP. Another tip is, if you decide to use this in PvP, I really do recommend you play aggressive, as you don't want them to have a moment of breathing room when engaging, this may mean you need to change up your weaponry to fit the playstyle a bit more, if you're happy with that. If you can get them as grouped up as possible and then weaken them as well with a well placed grenade or your weapons or your help from your teammates, then just one throw from your hammer is enough for you to basically finish the job. And if you do so, you'll be able to clip it and share it to the world, as it's one of the greatest feelings when you achieve it, and I have been on the receiving end of some doing that many, many, many blue moons ago. But generally, there you have it for the build. Your almighty hammer build is now complete and ready to wipe out groups of ads at your command. You can update this build through the many options I've provided, depending on where you choose to use it, but wherever you go, lightning and fire will surely follow. So enjoy! If you enjoyed the video, then please leave a like and a sub, and also follow me on Twitter to keep up to date with Destiny type content. If you dig that type of stuff, link is down below. But once again, thanks for stopping by, and I'll see you guys in the next one.